Hello everyone, how are you going? Welcome back to Mini Motorways where there is a brand new map. All right, well that is a hell of a color scheme starting straight off the bat here with a pink and then what do I get? Two bridges. Don't mind if I do. Obviously there is already three rivers that I can see here and so two bridges might get pretty scarce pretty quickly but at least I'm only playing on classic for now because I don't really think I'm up for it just expert straight away. But all right, that's all right. I think for now, I'm not even going to be using my second bridge. I'll just join them all in together there. Ooh, uh, not straight into the front door, but that will be fine. And now I have to just wait on this second one. I wonder if it's going to have a higher mix of double buildings or not, because some just maps seem to like them more. But here we go. We are slowly getting this expansion. I can start to see more of what this river system is going to be like. Oh, it's actually interconnected. I was wondering if it was, well, just going to be three vertical lines, but no, there's a bit of a loop. Or actually, I guess there are two loops, and so you don't want to be caught in any of these islands. And that's what apparently is going to be looking like. Like, but that is certainly nice when I get two bridges that would definitely help out. Ugh, ooh, that's like yellow but not yellow. That's somewhat between orange and yellow but I guess do I want to be taking dark blue or whatever color you want to be calling this for now? Do I want to be taking it below those guys? But that already looks pretty darn unstable because I just don't want to continue to have bridge and bridge and bridge and bridge all the way across. I mean, in saying that I probably should just reserve some for sure. So if I need to, I still can. But another week down and you know what, even though I would usually go, oh, around about I've already got two bridges, I reckon I'm going to be needing every single bridge I can take. And especially because it gives me two, it's just a no brainer. So there we go. Especially also because we have both of these guys just popping off into big pancakes already. Ah, well, I was about to say I should probably come up here and block a little bit of that, but that is also manageable. I guess I'll probably just, wow, okay, let me just uh, reconsider everything. A little bit of this action, a little bit of that action, I hopefully can get another few people joined into this guy, otherwise it's going to be a little bit scarce, I think. And then how do I want to be running this dark blue, because I can already see it starting to pile up, and okay, well, that will certainly help one building not pile up, but I don't know about the other one. Oh, what guy spotting down here? They're completely useless to me. Uh, okay, let me just think about how I can switch this entire thing around then, because it makes no sense to be not transporting these guys across the road i mean it is what mere seconds until i should hopefully get a motorway so i'll just do that and then uh, here we go hey well at least i wasn't wrong that would definitely be helpful but i will not be using it for now i just want to be just being a little bit more resourceful in how i want to do this i think i'll use another bridge and take them around the bottom oh man i mean at least it gives me another purpose for these guys over on the right but that is just a lot of blues at 120 points i mean i guess i should come up here and just re-block this area especially because i don't want too many especially yellow spawning all the way up there that would definitely then require a motorway otherwise no one there no one right there or uh, no one there either that would be very ugly but I always love these new maps because you never know what color is going to be next I mean especially because oh, another yellow up in that top right corner all right um I guess it's just another bridge is easiest just so I don't overload them completely but yeah like I was saying all of these colors and another week two more bridges it is but all these colors are just slightly off compared to the usual ones or maybe it's just the difference in background color the actual building is the same <laughs> What do you think I am? Just how am I possibly meant to be getting more dark blues over there? I mean, I guess most... Oh my, really? What? Where even... Oh, the building is all the way over on the right. Well, I guess if I deal with these in chronological order, I would just have to bridge them across. And man, I'm glad that I took the bridges because I'm using every single one so far. And then otherwise, I think I just need to be looking at blocking these guys up because I just don't want to be using my motorway. Not for a cross map like that. That is just outrageously far. I also don't want them spawning down here. Just nowhere, sorry, trees, but nowhere that is inconvenient. And just go back left. Well, that's all the road tiles I have. So hopefully it just doesn't jump into here and it goes, well, right, I don't know, right there would be lovely. Come on, where is this second one going to be spawning in? You have to give me a second one. Oh, I see. Okay, I'll take it. That is definitely better. I would kind of rather a third, but I guess so. Well, there we go. Perfect. I just forced them to move there and I can motorway that so it doesn't die for now. Hey, finally, I have a second guy spawning in here. That is fantastic. I mean, at least it hasn't been too overloaded. Uh, you know what? Road tiles, I think it is, even though I do have all of them tied up at the moment, I will take more. And then I have another random color i don't even see oh down the bottom left all right i guess depending on how i want to do it i could just join them straight into that line or considering i've only got one bridge left and it takes one bridge regardless i can do this hmm in saying that though my other original plan was to bridge these guys up and over i guess these dark blues but uh, who do i take where i'm using so many bridges though i mean i guess for now though I'm, I'm, come on just give me a break here i was about to say that it would completely be fine because it's just it's a very easy route but now i have to get up to the top as as well as a pink on the left. How many buildings do you want to give me at just over 300 points? But I really do feel as I'm about to be absolutely stitched up here. Just the fact that all these different colors are going to be sharing each other's lines. It's just going to be traffic going everywhere. And it's not even a thousand points, let alone, I mean, imagine 4,000 points in this map. You'd have 400 buildings. So I kind of have two different options. I can either bridge the dark greens, kind of something like that, especially joining them into there. Or do I want to be motorwaying them? I think it's going to have to be something like this because I do need to actually join them in 
and that only cost me then one bridge in comparison so that I need the other bridge to be able to take the pinks across. All right, well, that is going to have to do for now because that is all the infrastructure besides road tiles that I have, and I can't really spare anything. Everything's already sharing as is, you know, two buildings over here, you just upgraded, that's fine. You can have another one just because, but yeah, there were just bridges galore and it's giving me two. Can you imagine if it didn't give me two? But hey, at least with this many buildings, my score should start to explode. I mean, already at 400 points. Let's, okay, see, week six gave me a motorway. I would love a roundabout as well, just because everything's mixing. But a motorway is definitely nice. I also will need to mix up blue. Yeah, I, I can't even, I was going to say I can take blue run this way, but I can't. So I guess up and over it is. Now I'm just wondering, am I still expanding and will I have to deal with those islands down the bottom? Because if I have to deal with them, that is, okay, absurd. That is actually not absurd, the fact that that guy spawned in. But like I was saying, if I have to, let's see, oh, I doubt it. I can't even see them if I zoom in. So let's just hope that I don't have to do anything with that because it won't be pretty if that happens. Oh, but now I'm just completely torn because I would love to shoot motorway one all the way over to the right to be able to service that. So I can then join these guys into the nice close one. I mean, if eventually I do get pink spawning over here, I will absolutely do that. But I think for now, it just seems to be a bit of a ridiculous line, but I will just do that because I don't even have a bridge to be able to take them across. So in that case, perhaps I could look at motorwaying some people. I mean, there we go, more bridges are mine. That definitely helps out in the long term. But how can I then just use my two motorways that I've got so far just to clean up majorly? I don't even know that lighty bluey green compared to the olivey green and the pink. I mean, I guess first things first, I can certainly afford to be getting motorway two back because that is ridiculous that I have those guys having a motorway. Nope, not into there. Oh, no. Nope. Not into there either. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, Olive again. I guess in saying that it's not the worst time here because I did just get my motorway back. But if I didn't, how would I possibly go about doing that? I think my only option would then just be to bridge all the way around, all the way up this little bit of a river here and then in. That's the most ridiculous bridge I've ever seen. Ugh. Um, not the worst. I'll just join it straight in. I'm not too worried about that. There's certainly not too much volume there. The only thing is long term, how do I then get... Ooh, actually, ah, the pinks up here. That changes the game entirely. I can then get so much stuff back and just make this so much more efficient. There you go, you go there, you go there. Motorway's in the way, so up and over. Ah, oh, lovely. And then, who can I get back then? Pink, you don't need to be on that line. Give me that bridge back. Oh, everyone can just come down. Hmm, another pink, but from where? I mean, approaching a thousand points, nearly another week down, but I don't really want to be using anything that I get. Oh, another motorway. Thank you very much. That will be a big game changer, I'm sure. Ah, that makes sense as to why I was now spawning so many of that color in. There we go. That's the easiest one today, using my last bridge, of course, which is a little bit scary, but I can also now afford to somewhere uh, that will do fix up this entire thing. Oh, I don't really actually want it there. Can I move it? Can I move it there? Ah, get out of the way, I can't see it. All right, well, this little maneuver might cost me 40 years, but I think long-term it should be okay, especially with the roundabout there. It should be able to take so much more volume now and just really feed that hungry big pancake. But now two more bridges. Honestly, I'd love to know, or I guess I can count, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 bridges, and I'll be using all of them. <laughs> just to add insult to injury, another dark blue in the middle of nowhere. Like I said, how am I only at 12 or 1300 points? This is like a 4,000 point looking map just with how much is going on here. But that doesn't mean that that dark blue is going to wait for me. And so uh, I've got one motorway, but I think I should uh, try and use it. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to use it somewhere. Even with all the little changes that I've just gone and done, I'm honestly struggling to figure out where I want to be taking these dark blues from because they each have their own pockets that are servicing their individual buildings. And so unless I watch the motorway, these guys up to there is the only real thing I can see. I mean, in saying that, then I guess I should afford to just be turning pink back around. But uh, there's just so many little nuances that I'm not sure how to deal with. Ah, oh, yes, that is what we like to see. I mean, even though usually I would be pretty disappointed if I just had to pick between two things that I want. I mean, honestly, I have so many bridges. I cannot believe it's continued continuing to give me more and that isn't just a pair of traffic lights so the motorway it will be though oh i can see that middle yellow system is certainly dying and i do not blame it one bit thankfully i have an extra motorway motorway four and that can just immediately serve as that guy and then that entire thing will just calm down another green very very easy with this many people just lurking over here I would honestly love to know if it is always this generous because if it isn't and you just do not get this many bridges and even motorways, I would just have no idea how you could possibly do it. I mean, I have another yellow on the top right. That's fine. I can, uh, it's not the closest. So maybe I can afford to move motorway four, but really I only have two pockets, or well, I guess three pockets of yellow. So that, uh, they have to service everything they're servicing, really. I mean, actually, what am I talking about? These guys run literally right there, so that is the easiest join in the world. But looking around, this map is out of capacity in terms of what it can possibly spawn in. I mean, maybe if I just got rid of a few extra things, I just got another achievement for 2,000 points and another motorway between bridges and motorways. That's really all it ever offers me, but I will take the extra motorway and see what I want to do with it because uh, I'm sure it will just spawn one more in somewhere. Maybe, I guess, maybe at the top left or if I can open things up, perhaps another one down here that 
that I really don't want. All right, well, I can see that somehow that this guy is dying here, and I guess that's because every single car is out. That is, wow, that's wild to me, to be honest. Um, I also need to be giving more pinks up to the top left, or maybe I just need to motorway them instead. I guess that gives me two bridges back, but honestly, bridges are a commodity now. I swear you guys are connected in, you're just not going. Is that because the trip is just too darn long for people? Perhaps that is the only thing. It's not the fact that it's just requesting too many, it's the fact that the trip is too long. And so in order to fix that, I think I just have to either move motorway one to the front door or add another motorway in. Oh wow, that is not what I expected to be getting on Wii 15, but I will take it. And honestly, that is now six motorways, which is very, very nice to see. I'm going to use my extra bridge and then just inject, just for the sake of it, a couple of extra pinks in. I've got a bridge. Oh, I guess I just used it. All right, well, once that bridge comes back to me, I will just be taking it all the way to the left. Looking around though, it really is just that one building that is causing me all the trouble. I mean, that is now 3,000 points that I've just crossed and not a single other person besides maybe the top left pink is building up a little bit and the other olivey green under here, but really, I'm not worried about either of them, and I think, hmm, where can I afford, oh, if I turn these guys around, I can almost afford to get a bridge back and just join them in as well. Another motorway, all right, well, let me just be using both of them, otherwise the entire map is going to scream at me for not using them. So I think it's a fair go to be giving Pink this because it gives me two bridges back, which is nice in case I need them. Oh, I can also see that uh, motorway two is dying, so I need more people. Honestly, I have so many olive greens everywhere. Let me just find the best spot for them. I've got four on it, no, I've got three on it now. Honestly, considering where these guys have spawned in, I can just afford to be turning and giving this everyone I've got here. Two more bridges or traffic lights. Honestly, how many bridges can I possibly collect i mean still i'm amazed that i'm using virtually all of them i mean i'm also amazed because i'm almost at 4,000 points and at the start of this map there is no way i would have expected to be getting that high but hey i guess as long as i just continue to be collecting everyone in and that one pesky building over on the left doesn't come in and ruin my fun everything should be fine there we go just give more people more spread oh, how can i possibly be dealing with you though you've got everything i can possibly give you you've got a roundabout two motorways like 10 or 20 people it should be fine oh wow all of a sudden orange just decided that it wants to come out to play but look at that it's flying up i mean it is just now over 4,000 points but where have you guys come from why do i suddenly now apparently not have enough people and really there is only so much i can do because i virtually have every single person connected in i mean i think my best chance of survival is just to motivate these guys to here instead but besides those two how do i possibly get more people because i virtually have every single person connected in already i mean ah uh, uh, no everyone's got their own thing going for them there really is only that so you know what, I think this is just going to be the end of the road and I will push it as far as possible, especially now that I'm just pretty happy with the fact that I got over 4,000 points. But look at this, all the oranges are just breaking down and even, oh, and of course another motorway now, but even the guys, motorway two guys that I just gave them, they are the closest to dying, especially this. I mean, I cannot see that car making there in time. And so let's just do this and play it slow. Is it going to die on me? Oh, wow, that car made it. I cannot believe it. So who's it going to be? This one or this one? Oh, come on, it's going to be one of you. It was that one, all right. Well, like I said, I'm certainly not too upset with over 4,000 points on my first attempt of the entire map. But honestly, looking at the amount of infrastructure that I had to use to attain that score, it's insane. It's like 14 bridges and seven motorways, or maybe even eight, because I don't even think I used the last one. And so that is just outrageous. Take that in every map and you'd be glorious. But hey, considering this is a new map, I expect to be a decent score. Obviously, I've unlocked challenges, but let's just go and have a look at the leaderboard. Come on, top 3%. I mean, I don't mind that distribution graph, but let's just see. Can I see? Oh, I can't see number one, but hey, 175. All right, I'll take that.